purple light in the canyon. That's where I long to be with my three good companions. Just my rifle, pony, and me. Gonna hang. My sombrero, my sombrero, on a limb, on the limb of a tree, of a tree. Coming home, coming home, sweetheart, darling, sweetheart, darling. Just my rifle, pony, and me. Just my rifle, my pony, and me. Good morning, everyone. Behind me is Miss Ranger, Rob, <laughs> Ranger Sherry. Today is our Saturday. It's a beautiful, frosty day. And uh, we're out to feed the piggies. Sherry's job is to scratch backs and, and rub ears. And uh, there's our little piggies today. It's a frosty piggy day. Hi, guys. Hello, piggies. Oh, look at that. You got the baby though. Sniff ya. At least sniff me. So yeah, it's sunny and frosty. The pigs have been uh, working the grass a lot. I gotta get in there and unfreeze their water. Um, of course they're hungry. Come on guys. How's the piggies today? Good morning. Happy pigs. Yeah, the water's frozen. Yeah, I'm hungry. Ah, oh, baby. Hi, how are ya? You? You're the sweetest one. I like loving. What are you doing? You need my camera? <laughs> I think the baby's getting braver. Do this like take it three times. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Come on, baby! Baby piggy! Come here, baby piggy! Come here! Oh, they broke it! Good job, guys! Smart pigs! You see that? They broke the ice by themselves. See, Idaho pasture pigs are smart. So Sherry got to uh, scratch the head of the new baby um, for the first time. Getting a little braver, won't be too long. We'll be able to give them back scratches and tummy rubs. So, because those are important things. Of course. Especially your big boar. He's got to be our love machine. So, uh, saying, feed me. Yeah, really right now, all they're interested is being fed. So we will proceed with that. We'll be shutting down the fence. Sherry's gonna grab the food and uh, we'll fill their little bellies up. Oh, they're not so little anymore. <laughs> I gotta tell you, these guys are the funniest things. Gosh. They talk a lot when they're hungry. <laughs> what are you doing? You being silly? You being a silly piggy? Why no? 
Hurry! Here comes mom! Alright, I gotta shut the fence off. Blonde one, Mr. Piggy here. He's getting kind of wise to our trick. Definitely gets a lot quieter around here once they get their food. You don't hear a sound now. Kind of like Thanksgiving. Nobody talks while they're eating. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Not my, not my belly yet, but my back is okay. Look at that, baby pig, letting us touch him. He's liking it. Like, well, I kind of like He's that. He's liking the food. Yeah, but usually he'd run. Good job, Mom. That's a major piggy success there, getting a little one to be touched. So uh, yeah, that's good. Um, it's important, that's the boar. So we need the boar to be really used to being touched and handled, because uh, boars can be a little cranky sometimes. Well, I checked on the chickens, all of them are doing water. Water looks good. <laughs> German Shepherd's having fun. Hi, oh, baby. And uh, we'll do a little check in the greenhouse here. Well, the water's running well. kind of. Um, oops, it looks like one of my branches broke on my, my peas, so I better tie them up a little better. Well, I got in here before you guys did, <laughs> and uh, I took the rest of the tomatoes out. They're gone. And uh, I took the other broccoli out that we already harvested, and the other one's got a real pretty top on it right here. And uh, yeah, I took this one out and uh, yeah, kind of sad. Tied up a couple of peas and uh, they're still hanging in there. And uh, of course all the, all the lettuce is looking just fine. So uh, won't be long, I'll be able to harvest those. So it's kind of funny. I wish I could have got it on film. I have Belle inside the, in here it's all frozen. So she's sliding around like she was ice skating. Come on, Cinder Gal, the tomatoes. Come on, Belle. Let's go, guys. It is a beautiful day, but it is toasty cold. But uh, nice blue skies. And uh, Sherry took a rake. Says, I'm gonna go sweep the front porch. So, uh, gosh, my dogs are having way too much fun. Anyway, yeah, our front porch really gets hammered with uh, pine needles and leaves. And we do have a guest coming this Tuesday for Thanksgiving, which actually will be over with by the time you see this, but let's go see what Sherry's up to. And uh, what are you doing? Sweeping the walkway off. Yeah. We get tons of these pine needles. Oh, you filled the cart up already. It's just from. Wow. Look at this, guys. That's all going to go out to the backfield. 
because uh, we don't have any room in the compost bin. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, we get a lot of these pine needles. Um, some people say this stuff's good for basket weaving and stuff. Anyway, there's a lot of decorative things you can do with it, but we get more than enough. So I'm out here in the backfield, definitely uh, spreading the wealth. Put all the pines around this tree. It's all empty now. And uh, next week, uh, the guy's gonna come in to start putting the poles in for the fencing in the back corner here, all the way across. Then way over there, all the way to the front of the property. So uh, I think it's about 800 some odd feet of fencing. So I'll be really glad to get this all fenced in because uh, eventually we're going to have pigs out here. And uh, in case they escape, they got a secondary fence to hold them in. And uh, yeah, and we might put some other kind of critter back here. Uh, two, probably good two, two and a half acres of uh, really good uh, place to put a, a cow or something. And uh, start building up the soil back here. Well, decided to give the pigs some corn stalks. They didn't have trouble with them before. So uh, we're having lots of fun. The little pig, I don't think has ever had a chance to play with them. So, uh, And for those who are wondering, the little tag on uh, the little piggy's ear, we are t planning on taking off as soon as we can get close enough to them. And of course, sure, he's giving our, the garden that extra touch as we cleaned everything out. She's sweeping it for us. So it's a uh, starting to look a lot better and uh, yeah I mean we don't have to be in a hurry but we need to kind of expose this stuff so we know where we're at well Sherry's been working on this pretty hard got a couple of buckets worth of stuff to take in the back property but uh yeah we still got to cut out some more corn the problem with the corn is uh it's, it's messy and uh getting to a point now it probably won't give it much more to the pigs we'll just take all that stuff out to the back property I'm almost thinking about pulling the tractor out ripping out the rest of that take a whole tractor load out to the back property but uh the dogs have been having a ball they like to try to find the old corn husk because there's still corn in them and uh cinder cinder is quite amazing she can, uh, she can find them pretty good. Belle's kind of a follower. <laughs> She's a German Shepherd. She just wants to run and play. All right, guys, so I always mention you don't see Sherry enough, so I got a question for her. She's right here. So since uh, like Goldshaw Farms, there's a couple other ones where their wife works and uh, uh, us retired guys are taking care of the homestead. Um, what's some of the, uh, you know, being a working person <laughs> and having a homestead, is there certain things that you miss or do you kind of like the balance of how things are? Oh, I would much rather be here. <laughs> I miss being outside. Yeah. It's like I sit at a desk all day long, don't get up to move around. And it's like, this is my only opportunity to get outside and <laughs> work a bit, which I enjoy see the pigs see the chickens so I miss it yeah I kind of it's kind of funny when she gets here she just goes at it and she actually puts longer strands of time into the projects out here where I kind of do a little bit at a time do a little bit in the, uh, 
office back and forth. So then I start feeling guilty because she's out here a lot longer than I am. And, uh, but at the same time, it's, I got to keep telling myself this is her time to be out here. So, um, uh, I think, uh, I think one of the things you've been mentioning is like when you were here for a year, uh, we were just so active we couldn't help but lose a little weight, strengthen our legs a little bit, stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's definitely much healthier being out here than sitting at a desk all day long. Yeah. Of course, uh, you get to dress up every day though. As I said, it's much healthier <laughs> being out here. Yeah, but you get to wear those nice clothes and nice dress shoes every day. You know, yeah. It's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> That's for sure. I used to be a suit and tie guy every day. It was really cool at first. I was in my 20s. And it's like, oh yeah, I bought my first three suits. and That was a thousand bucks back then. And uh, you can't even get me close. To, I don't think anything would fit me anyway. But uh, gosh, I don't miss having to dress up for work every day. Mm. Yeah. But, so, uh, also, what's your opinion about the piggies? <laughs> they're cute. <laughs> I, they're fun to watch. I like watching them. They're entertaining. Uh, so are our dogs, though. Yeah. I was kind of worried that when when she first got out here, we, you know, you see us feed it, uh, the pigs uh, a little sprinkle on the ground before we go into the pen. It's because they get so anxious, they kind of gnaw at your feet and stuff. But you actually get kind of bit in the back of the leg. Yeah, and I, I got was, bit. I was kind of kind of afraid that uh, she might be a little gun shy. But once we kind of figured out a new technique, we haven't had any trouble. No, you feed them first, <laughs> yeah. then you go in the pen. Yeah. So there's <laughs> there's some facts for you guys. Feed the pigs before you go in. They're not trying to be mean. They're just kind of anxious, and so. Uh, uh, I was kind of worried I was going to make you gun shy. But... No. It's more than that. So anyway, so guys, see? Sherry does ex does exist. She talks too. Well guys, it's the end of the evening. I'm going to be feeding the piggies in a minute. I'm going to attempt to see if I can get water out to the chickens. Um, and uh... It's been all day to allow the hose to thaw out but there's the piggies right there this is their second feeding and uh i don't see the baby oh, there he is hey guys howdy you guys ready for food oh we forgot we, we did buy a new bucket yeah sherry and i uh went to the feed store Picked up a little bit more pig feed, a little bit more chicken feed, uh, water, uh, heater to warm up uh, their, <laughs> their uh, food, uh, their water so it doesn't freeze up. And we got this new bucket because we want to make sure the third, fourth pig is getting fed. Whoops. Upside down, guys. Oops. <laughs> These guys are terrible. Anyway, mom's mom's on her way to the food over here. We gotta shut off the uh, power to the fan. Jeez. Wow. Noisy pigs tonight. I put the new bowl in there, but it turned up to stay down and it bounced.
So yeah, the bigger pigs are being kind of uh, pushing the little pig away a lot. So having four bowls, no matter what, the little pig is going to get some food. So uh, all right, I got to water some chickens and I'm going to add some water to their bowl here. And tomorrow we got all kinds of things to do. Well, we get the chickens watered, checked all the feed. Uh, everybody's happy, it's starting to get dark. I uh, got our battery charged up again today. All is well. So guys, we're gonna wrap this up today. I wanna thank you for watching. Please take the time to uh, like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And uh, we only hope that Sherry can keep her beanie. Yeah, if the dog doesn't steal it. Yeah, I have the same hat that she does. And the dog, mine says 12. Uh, but Cindy got a hold of it and took my little ball off the top. So I've always been jealous. So guys, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.